Welcome to the second exercise. Today you are going to learn how to create a market making script. That means that you are going to learn how to place orders, cancel orders, and also how to do something custom when an order gets filled. So well, let's go. We will need to create another script inside the script folder. In this case, it will be called Quick Start Script 2. Copy and paste the first code that you have in the guide. So, as you can see, we have some parameters. The bid spread, the ASO spread, the order refresh time, the order amount, create timestamp, trading pair, exchange, and price source. These libraries are not needed now, but we are going to use them later on. These parameters are the ones defined in the Notion design template, so I would recommend you to take a look and see why we need them. Lastly, I would like to tell you that this price source will be used in a method that will let us get the price by type. So here we have different options for price type. Can be mid price, best ask, best bid, or last trade. Depending on the option that you selected, that will be the price that will be returned on the other method. Now it's time to call the ONTIC method. That is a method that will be executed every second as we saw before. Copy and paste the ONTIC method from the guide. Well, let's review now the logic. Here it says, if it's time to create the new order, let's cancel all the orders that are in the market, then create a proposal, adjust the proposal to the budget, place the orders, and then update the create timestamp. Right now, we don't have these functionalities implemented but we are going to do it one by one. Let's start with cancel all orders. This method is getting all the active orders for the exchange that we want. So with this method, you can get all the, the active orders that are available in that exchange. Then we are looping all over the orders and we are using the method self.cancel to cancel that specific order. Remember that you have a cheat sheet available to see which are all the methods that you can use in your scripts. Now let's code the create proposal method. One thing to notice is that the output of this method is a list of order candidates. This is important because later on we are going to use the method adjust candidates to adjust a list of order candidates to the budget that we have in our account. The first line is getting the reference price. We're going to use this price and apply the bid spread and the asset spread to get the price where we are going to place the buy and the sell order. In this case, we are accessing the connector that is inside self.connectors and using the get price by type method with a trading pair and the price source. Remember that this price source in this case is mid price, but you can use the one that you want. Then we are modifying the reference price with the bid spread and the asset spread, and then constructing the order candidate. Lastly, we are going to return a list with the buy order and the sell order. Now it's time to code the method that will be adjusting the proposal to the budget. In this case, we are using the budget checker of the connector. And specifically, we are using the method adjust candidates that lets us adjust a list of order candidates to the budget that we have. If the parameter all or none is set to true, if you have all the tokens needed to place the order, it's going to turn the amount of the order to zero. If all or none is equal to false, the amount of the order will be the amount that you have available in your account. Also, you can use the method adjust candidate to just adjust one order candidate. Lastly, we are returning the proposal adjusted. The last method that we have to code from the ONTIC method is place orders. Here we are looping through the orders that are inside the proposals and calling the method place order. We have to define this method now since the script strategy base has a method buy and sell. So for each order, we are going to check if the trade type is sell, and then we are going to call the sell method. 
And if it's buy, we're going to buy. That's all from the on-take logic. Now, let's use the defeat order to create a custom logic when an order gets filled. We are going to lock the information and we are going to also notify the app as we did before. There are other methods available like did complete by order, did complete sell order, did cancel order, did create buy order, did create sell order, did fail order. If you want, you can implement those methods to see how they work. Now it's time to run the script. So go to the terminal, run binhamingbot.py, start script, quick start script two, and let's see the output. We can see that it's creating the orders as we expect. Now let's run status live. And now we can see the balances and the orders that are in the market. As you can see, the bot is doing what we expect, creating orders. And after the order refresh time that we select, it's canceling the orders and placing the orders again. Good job, we finished the second exercise.